Litso is sharing her thoughts on cancel culture. In a tweet shared on Sunday, the About Dam Time singer-songwriter spoke about the widely used term and how it's developed within public consciousness since its origin. This may be a random time to say this but it's on my heart. Cancel culture is appropriation, wrote Litso, 34. There was real outrage from truly marginalized people and now it's become trendy, misused and misdirected, continued the Grammy winner's post. I hope we can phase out of this and focus our outrage on real problems. Underneath the tweet, many fans agreed with Litzo's take on the matter. Cancel culture is being used and twisted and co-opted by people who just want to bully, wrote one Twitter user. Most people in 2023 know that bullying is wrong, but they know they can get away with it if they dress it up as moral outrage. It's rampant in fan culture and completely disingenuous. Another person replied to the Truth Hurts performer, wondering if cancel culture truly even exists. The term is mostly brought up, misused by those who are afraid of facing accountability. The other side of it is still, as you say, marginalized groups trying to hold oppressors accountable, they wrote. Using a catchphrase to attain that goal is the least of our worries. Litso isn't the only celebrity to speak publicly about cancel culture as of late. In an October 2022 interview with People, comedian Amber Ruffin explained how cancelling a celebrity for something controversial doesn't always impact their career in the way some would expect. I think, most of the time, people get cancelled because that is the consequences for their actions, she said at the time. And, you know, we're saying cancel, but that's not true. In her experience, Ruffin believed not everyone who gets cancelled actually stays cancelled. She referenced Kanye West's recent anti-Semitic comments, which have led to financial fallout from brand partnerships upended, as one cancellation that could stick. Ain't nobody being cancelled except maybe Kanye. Geez, she said. He might be the only one true cancelling, cause damn. But even in the comedy community, those cancelled don't stay down too long, Ruffin said. She referenced Louis C.K., who was cancelled in 2017 after sexual misconduct allegations against him surfaced. However, despite public outrage at the comedian's behaviour, which he later admitted to and apologised for, he has since re-entered the comedy scene. A lot of those people that we cancelled a minute ago, there, on, tour and s, she continued. Louis C.K. is on tour, people are fine. These cancellations, these cancellings are not sticking. So I think people are experiencing consequences for their actions and then they're moving on.